no one is experienced with something of this magnitude, with the, the massive displacement. I was lost in my own town, my own city. When I got there and saw the devastation, the people, the hopelessness in their face, in their lives, no one was prepared for anything of this nature. Here the flood came in very slowly and stayed. The water just sat there and permeated into everything that people held dear. I don't think I'll ever, ever get over what I've seen. I couldn't even stand the thought of facing another day, what was going to be on the other end of the phone. We've had people who've just been stalled and not able to move forward. And then people come and help. I turned the street corner and I just saw volunteers just all over this house. They were tearing down and hammering up. And I said, oh God, look at that working on my house. Yeah. Because you hear people talking about it, you hear, oh man, I got a group over here from Arkansas. Oregon, Iowa, Maine, New Jersey. That first time, I was able to give a man a key to his house. I mean, that was like, wow, that's why I came, I think. Without the volunteers, I'd be in chaos. The motto on the back of my shirt says, out of chaos, hope. If there's hope, it's hope. So y'all give us hope. Come down here if you want to see that. It's everywhere. Just showing up and helping someone get a house, you're getting them started on the recovery process. Some people still think, you know, I'm still living in a trailer. When does it ever come to an end? But see, I'm here to tell you, there is an end. I took this whole house back from Katrina. Katrina may have took it for two years, but I'm not going to let her keep it. There was a time there wasn't any sense of life, and the thought came, can these walls live again? It's with me, and it will always be with me. You know, this story is still being told and retold, and it's still very important. It's who we are. Every time we work on a house, that's, that's, that's a part of the story. Like in 100 years when they talk about the flood in New Orleans, they're going to be talking about individuals and volunteer groups that came down and rebuilt, and that's, that's what's so amazing about this story.